earliest memory uh, I can remember let's see now oh grade school nature study class what do you remember about it I uh, Miss Cruz was our nature study teacher and my buddy and I John Manawan well at, at springtime it we had a contest a board there was a board on uh, on a blackboard with any anybody see the first robin or red-headed woodpecker or some spring bird that would migrate back to you know robins were a good sign of spring you know mm -hmm. like robin robin red breast hopping in the snow so John Manawan and I what we used to do <clears throat> we used to go to Glenwood Park and look for these birds and uh, we always got stars on that blackboard you know mm -hmm. and then we decided we're going to do a little cheating <laughs> so we go to a public library and get this exotic bird book and lo and behold we're poking, we're we're looking at birds from Africa South America so we're getting all the descriptions all the colors and this one day we go to school and we're describing this bird that we've seen at Glenwood Park and Miss Cruz is really amazed. She says, no, it can't be. This bird is a native of the Congo. <laughs> so she caught us red-handed, you know. But we, we, we were like you, Frank. We used to go get pollywogs, bring to school, and we should see that transition where were uh, evolution from the polywog or the tadpole into a frog or a toad. Now, if I remember correctly, I think a tadpole was a frog, and a, a polywog became a toad. Uh, then we used to bring acorns. We used to go to a cemetery, and we were buddy. Oh, what we used to do one, we used to go to Glenwood Park, and one time we were. Uh, lo and behold, there were some scouts. Uh, I think they were club scouts, cup scouts, and they were having a you know a little outing out there. And they had these they, they had these uh, 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 gas stoves were enclosed uh, with the wood frame, and in between the wood frames they had uh, big gaps, you know, where you could stick your hand. And we looked in there, and there they got this big pot of hot dogs cooking. And, and, and the hot dogs were all tied link by link. And John and I, we were just inches away from that pot of hot dogs. So John and I, uh, I stuck my hand in there just trying to get a couple of hot dogs. As we were pulling, we pulled out maybe 10 hot dogs. So we sat down behind, behind this, uh, uh, this, this uh, cover. And we were watching uh, the scouts, uh, masters, and the kids were playing around there. And then we, we, we scarfed these hot dogs without no bread or mustard. And we went on our way. And meanwhile, we looked uh, at the time they were starting to feed the kids there, the boys. Uh, they discovered they were, they were lacking. They, they didn't have enough hot dogs. <laughs> 